Welcome into the Napa Auto Parts post game show. We have manager Tyler LeBron. Tyler, you guys really played well today. You mm-hmm. got good pitching. You saw Christian Seahorse come out of the bullpen for the yeah. first time this year. And yeah. overall, it was a really good win. Nick Sorelli hit one to borderline the lower 48 earlier. Close, but yeah. yeah, yeah. How what what'd you kind of see out of the polls there? I'll tell you what, number one, that was the closest ball I've ever seen in this park. And there was some wind behind yeah. it. That thing was, I think it landed into the into the fairgrounds on onto a building. Um, yeah. No, we're the boys are playing well. We're, we're the energy's up. We're really buying into what we're trying to teach these guys. The guys are doing a good job with that. But you know, winning's contagious. Hitting's contagious. We're starting to come around with that. Um, you know, for us, as we went out yesterday, like we did after getting no hit for six. Then you have a game like this today. It's good to see it. Um, so the, yeah, we're playing well. Yeah, we've seen uh, guys like Jared Sweeney and Ricky Nunez yeah. who really haven't played all that much the the past, I guess, number of weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, both in the lineup today. Or Jared had a hit earlier. Ricky mm-hmm. had a hit, came around to score. Yeah. I mean, getting production all around the lineup, that's got to feel good, right? No, it does. I mean, we've had a lot of guys go down with some injuries as of late. And so you're always telling our guys in the clubhouse, next man up, next man up, next man up. And, and they're doing a good job. You know, it's, it, baseball's a difficult game when it comes to that stuff, especially when you, you know, you're sitting on the bench for, for a week or two and you're trying to get your chance. Then you get in there and you have a little pressure. You feel like you have to get the job done. But our guys have done a really good job. Uh, of capitalizing on when they're in the lineup. And that's when he's done a great job going at second base with Rose and Kurt. Uh, we have middle infield coming in tomorrow, which will help us. Yeah. And then Nunez has done a great job with, with Mikey e. being hurt. So, you know, there's not a guy in our, in our roster that can't fill in and, and do a good job for us right now. Yeah. Um, you've won 14 out of your last 17 wow. now officially. Um, and there's still another stretch tomorrow. The pilots come in, back in. Um, what are you kind of seeing out of the group tomorrow? And who goes on the mound? Uh, well, we always tell our guys it's a week by week, week basis. Today we had to finish our week. We did a great job with that. So, yeah, we start up again tomorrow. It was a scheduled off day that we have to fill in a game, so it's tough. But we start up again. Uh, I think we have four of five on the road next week, and the goal is to obviously go over 500. But uh, we'll send Bimal out to the hill tomorrow. He's going to make a spot start for us. We really want to see him start for a while. And uh, I have no doubt he'll be ready to rock tomorrow. Yeah, Nate Bimel's been very good for the Miners this year. Well, this was the Napa Auto Parts postgame show. Miners improved to 19 and 8. We'll be back here tomorrow with coverage 655 or 650 actually p.m. 650 p.m. in the Valley. So tune back in tomorrow. Miners going for win number 20 on the year.